Hey everybody, wanted to talk about mindset a little bit, um, cause mindset, um, you know, determines if we feel good or bad, basically. Mind, thought, and feeling are intimately related, and the school of thought that says, you know, think positive thoughts or use affirmations to change your life, um, I think it's a very beautiful school of thought. I think it's a very accurate school of thought. Um, and the reason I don't talk about mindset so much on this channel is A, I'm not very good at it, but B, also, um, it's just not pertinent to, the, to non-duality because we talk about waking up from the realm of thought as a whole. So I'm not that interested in positive versus negative thinking. I'm interested in the true being that illuminates thought, you know, that is the source of thought. I'm interested in source itself. Um, my favorite towns nestled in those little snowy mountains behind me. Um, so when it comes to waking up from the world of thinking or from the realm of thought, that is what we call um, a non-dual recognition because thought is dualistic. Um, it is, um, believed to belong to you, my thinking, my thoughts. I'm a positive person, I'm a negative person, and so forth. So you end up in, like, a little bit of a trap there if you catch my drift. Um, and the reason I'm more interested in the origin of thinking and the origin of thought is because um, the energetics are what creates thought. So thought's actually an energy. It's not words floating around in the ethers that belong you know, to a physical body, although thought and body are one. So what you think is also what you are in the sense of the relative. But um, the energetics are um, the core um, origin of that dynamic of body thought, body mind. So when you have an energetic awakening, meaning that um, your sensitivity has severely increased in terms of sentience, in terms of, you know, interconnectedness with all of life, in terms of um, the great awakening of the heart, the divine heart, the sacred heart, um, when, when those energetics start to um, bloom, I love that word, to bloom, um, they will be, they will color and in turn be colored by the realm of the eye or the personal eye or the thinking body-mind mechanism. So whatever unresolved issues you have, unresolved traumas, shadow, uh, kinks, if you will, um, knots, whatever is all is there that hasn't been dealt with is going to um, color that awakening. So that's why you end up in these loops and these karmic quote unquote patterns. Remember, in, in non-duality, we're outside of the realm of karma, of cause and effect. But when we're talking about the personal eye structure, we are discussing um, bondage and we're discussing where those kinks and where those loops are um, sucking the energetics back in to replay old outdated patterns, to recycle um, collective debris, ancestral debris, and um, in general, the thinking patterns of the roots of separation. So, um, so that's why, um, that's mostly why I'm not that interested in mindset, but I'll tell you why I think it's relevant and why I think it's important because, um, the physical body's still going to move towards pleasure no matter what, because that's how it's wired. That's how these systems operate. Unfortunately, there's also kinks in that dynamic because you'll end up, um, with, fucked up systems whose dopamine and serotonin levels are just codependent on addictions and neural pathways that create a lot of dysfunction and imbalance in the system, dis-ease, um, disharmony and stuff like that. Um, so, um, 
So when it comes to mindset and when it comes to positive thinking, it has to come from the energetics of the system, meaning it has to come from the depths of the realization of your being. If you enter that realm first, meaning going through the muck, going into the core of experience, then you can emerge and come full circle out of that into, you know, mindset. But working on mindset first is kind of like, I don't know, working on the outside of a plant and not taking care of its roots, not nourishing the soil, not making sure it's getting enough water. Like if a plant's growing, you can't just put it in the sunlight, right? And not take care of that that base, that that origin and that source. You know, the the um the whole thing has to be dealt with. So um in general, it is much healthier and much better to have positive thoughts. They will impact your money. They will impact your health. They will impact your relationships. If your thinking patterns are positive, you will in general have better experiences in your life and vice versa. I mean, we all know that. These teachings have been around for a long, long time, right? But what we're linking up here in the non-dual community is, um, is the sacred heart, the, the spiritual origin of unity and oneness and interconnectedness. And that also, you know, catapults us to the forefront of the understanding and the realization that what I do for myself, I also do to the other. And that what, what the other does to themselves, they also do to me. Um, so fixing my life Fixing my problems, thinking about my awakening, is a very dualistic, painful path to go down. And that is why the opening of that sacred heart is so important. Because if you're using positive thinking patterns or affirmations or whatnot, because you want to feel better and you want to improve your life versus it being an organic um, inner blooming of your being um, is two very different energetics, you know, two very different frequencies coming out. Um, so yeah, affirmations rock, but just make sure that you're uh, linking up the truth of your being, connecting with the essence of who you are, looking at all the multidimensional um, aspects of self, both capital S and, and small s, and going deep, deeper than just thinking, because if you just work on the thinking pattern also, what will happen is you'll be prone to manipulation and corruption because thought is where the realm of bondage occurs. So if you're only focused on that and only trying to fix that, then there's going to be a lot of room for, for infiltration and manipulation of um, the physical, mental dynamics and the vessel in general. So um, those are my thoughts on that for what it's worth. Um, hope it helps. Hope you enjoy your day. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my hike here and see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.